Good day, everybody. This is Dr. Nandi. I'm back again. Today, I'm going to talk about a problem with application in trigonometry. So it will be trigonometry application problem. So without further ado, I'll share my screen with you. Application of trigonometry. Problem, the voltage across the terminals of a typical electrical outlet is approximated by V as a function of T, T is time, is equal to 156 sine of 120 pi T, okay? Where T is measured in 156, uh, T is measured in seconds. And actually V of T is 156 sine 120 pi T, T is measured in second. So part A, find the amplitude and period for VT. Find the frequency of VT. That is the number of cycles completed in one second and find uh, the value of the voltage at the following time period or times, okay? So we will, uh, we know the voltage equation is V is equal to 156 sine 120 pi T. We will compare that with Y is equal to A sine B X. In this case, the amplitude is A, which is the coefficient in V T outside sine of 156 multiplied by sine 120 pi T. So the amplitude is 156. A is 156 and my B is 120 pi. So period formula is two pi over B is two pi over 120 pi which is one over 60 second. And that is the answer for part A. Answer for part B frequency is one over period or one over one over 60 seconds. So it is 60 seconds to the power of minus one or 60 Hertz. One over second is Hertz unit. Now we find the value of the voltage at the given time. So first is one over 240. So it is 156 sine 120 pi multiplied by 1 over 240 for T. 120 goes into 240 twice. So it is 156 sine pi over 2. It is 156 volt. Then we find the value of the voltage at 1 over 120. So for T, I substitute 1 over 120 and I get 120 pi multiplied by 120. The 120 cancels in the numerator and denominator, leaving 156 sine over pi. We know sine over pi is zero. So voltage at one over 120 second is zero. What about voltage at one over 80 second? 156 sine pi times one over 80, 80. Uh, so 40 goes into 80. It should be two, not four, it should be two. So 40 goes into 80 twice and 40 goes into 123. So it is 156 sine pi multiplied by three over two or sine three pi by two. And we know sine of three pi over two is sine of 270 degree is minus 156 because sine of three pi over two is minus one. So minus one multiplied by 156 is minus 156. What about voltage at one over 60? It is 156 sine 120 pi multiplied by one over 60, 60 goes into 120 twice. So we cancel the 60 for the denominator, cancel uh, 60 goes into 122. So we are left with 156 sine two over pi. And we know the value of sine two over pi um, is zero. So basically voltage at one over 60 is zero. Okay, so this is the end of it. I will stop here today. If you have any question, please do not hesitate to write me a comment. I will reply to your comment as soon as possible. And please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I get back each week to solve new problems in math. And I want to, be, want to help you to be successful in math. So if you have any question, please write me a comment. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. We'll see you next time.